Oh, you wanted to bring training camp to San Antonio, and he was looking for a trainer, and he had a couple of options, and you know, we just hit it off. You know, we hit it, hit it off perfect, and he was referred by an, another person to come check me out, and he said the shoe fit. We laced it up, and we're here. You know, we all know he can fight. That's something James Kirk is never in a boring fight when it comes to him. So, you know, just the little things I think he was looking for as far as his, his skill, access to the boxing, his defense, his jab, stuff like that. So that's kind of what we're trying to bring to the table is to make him really motivated fight. for this fight. You know, he knows this is a crossroads for him. You know, this, he knows this, this is a fight that can take him to the next level. So, um, you know, the motivation is probably for me the biggest thing. Um, everything in the ring, you know, that's... That's our little secret, but you know, everything is doing is going great in, in training camp. But the motivation for me outside the ring is just remarkable. He's in the gym every day. He's working. There's no complaints, you know. And it's, it's like working with a young kid again who's just willing to learn and, and has that desire and passion for the sport. The only prediction I can make is the fans are going to see a great fight. You know, Golden Boy's been doing a hell of a job bringing these, putting these great fights together. So you know, that's the only thing I can guarantee is a great, great fight. The longer it lasts, the worse for Canelo. It's just you know, the longer he, but the longer it lasts, the greater a fight we're going to see. You know, so. I'm not gonna sit here and say knockouts or six round knockout. And I'm just gonna promise a great fight May 9th and fireworks and history be made in, at the Minute Maid Park.